AJ Pierzynski facing Cologne. Cologne off target right in the back. Both teams would get a warning. Ron Gardenhire wants to know what his team did wrong. Jack Cresson pitching for the Twins hits Ricky Gutierrez and leg. This is baseball, folks. Cresson gets tossed. Benches would clear. Messages would be sent. No punches would be thrown. Garden. Ryan Superman, great snag. Top six, we're tied at twos. Ted Lilly, pitch inside, called a strike on Casey Blake. Dunstan Moore comes in thinking it was a pass ball. Ron Gardenhire comes out to argue. Look, it actually hits him on the knee. Gary Darling called it a strike, then he gives, he gives. Chuck Jones, Christian Guzman, very excited. Finally get their first look at the White Sox. Here, though, Ray Durham, fly ball, Chuck Jones waiting up. Oh, lost the ball in the exchange, but was Clayton the score. Durham safe at first. He had it in the glove, you know, but that slowed down. Of course, Gardner said, look, he caught it, the exchange, no, no sell. He had help with that one, it's 3-0. Next battle, look out, oh, wait a second. Matt Kinney? On Paul Canerco, the warning. Both sides are warned immediately. Now, Ron Gardenhire will come out and say it was a changeup. He gets tossed out. Take another look as Kenny would lose control of the change. You know, it was a guy's tower like that. I, I, hot. Bottom of the seventh. Yeah, he's, he's long gone at this point. Us didn't get the start against the Rangers. Christian Guzman did, facing Dave Berber in the first inning. Did Guzman go around? Well, yes, it's called a strike. Quick pitch. And a quick pitch, strike three, as Guzman's staring down the left field line, arguing the call. Take another look. He's way out of the batter's box. Home plate up by Chris Guccione said, come on, get back in. Berba pitch. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not waiting for him. And Berba throws it right down the gut for strike three, and Guzman gets tossed. Ron Gardner comes out. He gets tossed to Bernie Williams and Joe Brinkman, the home plate ump, who takes his sweet time calling balls and strikes. Usually a you can't tell if it's a strike with this guy, but it's called a ball. 2-0. And the 2-0, and, and that, that's a 3-0, and Ron Gardner, I can't believe what he's seeing because the next pitch, Bernie busts out the whoop and stick. Fourth home run of the year for Bernie. 4 nothing Yanks, and Ron Gardner gets his two cents worth with Joe Brinkman and gets to the gate. And Tom Kelly, five of the Jacksons in 2,300 and change games as a Twins manager. Gardner has already equaled that mark in just 100. Aaron Guile, first pitch from Romero. Well, gets away from the Twins pitcher, or he hit him on purpose. That's what Larry Poncino felt. He tosses Romero, who pops a gasket. Looks like he's telling Poncino, hey, man, that was a slow-moving breaking ball. Give me a break. Romero isn't leaving without using up all his lifelines. Take another look. And, well, he may have had an argument. He's in an argument. Ron Gardenhier, he's going to go. Pinella. Join his pitcher in the clubhouse. Al Newman wants a Royal fan or two to join him in the dugout. Come on down. Uh, they also got one win. Minnesota has Sam Cassell, and they got one win, so we're trying to break the talk. Bottom three, Corey Cosby's at the plate. All right, that was called a strike. Ron Gardenhire doesn't like the call. Now, you can't argue balls and strikes with Blue, and Chris Guccione gives Gardenhire the gate. The bottom five, two outs. Sabathie hits Bobby Kielty on the shoulder. Oh, Eric Cooper says, okay, that's a warning. Doug Kavich didn't like it. Ron Gardenhire didn't think too much of it either. Bottom six, Sabathie is still in. And Torrey Hunter's done. Yes, he did. Still bottom six, two outs. Dustin Moore will be seeing you, too. That ended the six. Top seven, three-nothing Indians. Kenny Rogers on the mound now. Milton Bradley up. And Rogers hits Bradley on the arm. Gardenhire and Rogers both ejected from the game. And the Indians going to win it four to one. Man on second, Christian Guzman. Maybe this time somebody coming home. A rope down the right field line. A close call, but first base up. Jerry Davis has fouled. Gardenhire comes out. Yeah. And then he's done. Loses the argument. You look at it again from that angle. Could be. Maybe not. In which case, you always go with what the ump says. They go in Seattle. Top first. Jamie Moyer facing Christian Guzman. And Guzman thinks this is a foul ball. Dan Wilson knows it's fair. Tags him out. Ron Gardenhire is run by plate up Marty Foster. Gardenhire ejected three minutes and nine seconds into the game. The game would last another four hours, 44 minutes, and 51 seconds. He missed. Angry. Two Royals hit by pitchers, pitches rather, in the first. So in the bottom half of the inning, Venice Reyes plunks Michael Kadire. Home plate umpire, Chris Cuccioni, warns Reyes. And then Reyes hits Corey Koski in the back in the second. So it's an automatic ejection, right? Well, yeah. Maybe not. Guccione does not toss Reyes, who looked like he was not intentional. Ron Gardenhire 
From the north side of Chicago, Twins and White Sox in a wild ESPN day game. Justin Morneau in the top of the second. If it's fair, it's gone. Well, clearly it's fair. The ball hits off the top of the wall and it's gone, right? Wrong. Take another look. The ball hits the top of the wall, back into play, not over the goal line. Call is reversed. They rule it a double. Ron Gardner would get a whole lot of exercise in this game. Top of the fifth. Morneau again. If it's fair, it's gone, I said. Home run. Wait a second. The umpires talk about it. It's not fair. It's not gone. Garden hire, check this, doesn't go to the nearest dugout exit, hops the fence, and he's going to lose it. And then he's going to be tossed. First he lost his hat, and then he was tossed. Now take another look. Clearly the umpire could use that spot shadow to help him out. Out of the seven, six nothing twins, it starts to get a little ugly. Shannon Stewart facing Jason Davis, and Davis doses it. Stewart not happy as he takes his walk down to first base. Not happy at all. Both benches are warned. Ron Gardenhire does not agree and argues his point. Kicks some dirt around at the plate, and he will watch the rest from the comfort of oh, he's, he's good for a couple of years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he gets his money's worth. He gets, he gets every dime's worth. You're right. <laughs> Still bottom of the seventh. Fourth of the year. Silva, ooh, close and personal right there. Involving Jody Garrett. Bill Hahn, the home plate ump, would warn only the Twins, and Ron Gardner hates that. <laughs> and he's gone. Gone, I say. Indians win four to three, and Ron is not a happy guy. Gotta love Ron Gardner. Blue Jays, Mariners. Sir Damian Jackson, we're out of this. No, we're not. That's a base clearing, extra base hit. Well, that's how you win pennants. You get role players to come up with big hits. And then Santana had some words for Kevin Kelly. And so did Ron Gardenhire. Well, there was more to this inning than what we actually showed there, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. All right, JB. Meantime, Santana out. Kelly's still throwing everyone out now. Gardenhire said something from the mound. He's booted, too. Something from Jason Kubel, though. He just doubled in a run off Sean Markham. And now Markham facing Mike Redmond. Two on, one out. Redmond flies out. Torrey Hunter tagging from third. Alex Rios, the gun, and Greg's on the tag. And... Hunter, he's, he's hotter than Pete at a Nugent concert on this call. He thought that Zahn <laughs> missed the tap. Now feel around to the left. Wait a minute. Did he bunt at it? He wants to know if he bunted it. Yes, he did. Come on back here, Denard. Yes, he did. <laughs> I think we caught a break right there. <laughs> Hit him right on the back knee. And... That's it. He's gone quickly as Ron Gardenhier. Indeed. Sox catch a break. Gardenhier tosses his hat, as do lots of fans throwing their hats on the field. That almost hit him. It did hit him. Or did it? No, Kadir trying to buy it, but. Sell it rather. Paul Nard is not buying it, and here comes Ron Gardenhier. Well, Leland was ejected last night, and Gardenhier gets the Evo today. He's been thrown out of the game. So Bailey's on second. Now Dustin Pedroia after Bailey's moved over to third with a sacrifice fly to right. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. Safe is the call. Mike Redman argues. And how about this? He's ejected. Now at this point, Ron Gardner comes out to defend his catcher, and he's ejected. Fair ball, and that went fine too. Ah, oh, it did go off of his foot. He may have gotten a piece of his foot. It sure sounded like it went off the plate. It didn't have to get to this point. Charlie Relaford wants to help out. Now, if this Martin hire is gone, he faked the free safety right out of his uh, supporter there. I don't think he was out of the baseline when he avoided the tag. What about the tag, though? Let's see. I don't think he ever, he definitely never touched him. The three points where he possibly could have been out. Uh, he's not tagged. It's a very close play at first. And I guess it's the umpire's call. You can see Nathan pointing to where Cruz ran. 
was he out of the baseline, right? And Ron Garden yes. hires out of the game. 2-0, and oh, bottom one. Runners on the corners, nobody out. Lee Thomas over to first, Justin Morneau. And now they've caught Curtis Granderson in a rundown. Brendan Harris dives, thinks he has the tag. Third base umpire Brian Knight says, you missed him. You make the call. Either way, Granderson scores, and it's a 1-1 game. Next man on first and one out. Ron Gardenhire still arguing the rundown call with Granderson, and Hunter Wendelstad has seen enough. Ron Gardenhire tossed. And here he is arguing. It's an early shower, but you know what? It was a pleasant one because his team went on for the 11-6 win.